Today's video is sponsored by Pianote. Are you sick of trying to plunk out musical ideas on your MIDI controller by trial and error? Do you wish you had a practical working knowledge of music theory, scales, and chord structure, and keyboarding skills? Or maybe you just want to learn to play the piano for fun? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, Pianote could be perfect for you. Pianote offers online video lessons you can watch at any time, along with real teachers who will support you every step of the way. They have foundational lessons, as well as intermediate and more advanced lessons, and also song-specific lessons that teach you how to play piano versions of popular songs. So if you're looking to take your keyboarding, songwriting, and producing skills to the next level, head over to pianote.com. Subscriptions start at $19 a month, and you can get a free 30-day trial using the link below. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a random scattering effect as a modulation or synthesis modulation effect using the Direction Mixer along with the Modulator MIDI Effects plugin. We'll also use a few other effects uh, uh, as well along the way, and uh, I'll do this step by step. But first, let me show you what this effect sounds like and one of the many, many possibilities you can come up with with this effect. And by the way, I should mention this effect is going to sound better on headphones than it does in speakers, but it's, you know, it's not a surround effect. It's not a spatial audio effect. This is something that can be done completely within a stereo mix. The, the effect itself, I think, is more effective in headphones. Let me play it one more time with the uh, drum loops in, and then I'll jump into the tutorial. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. Off screen, I got rid of all of the modulation effects, and I just have these uh, two drum loops, an effects loop, and then this astral pad. Uh, this is just an ES2 preset. It's one of the pad presets in the ES2. And then I'm uh, using the Valhalla Shimmer reverb plugin for some ambience. So here's what this sounds like on its own. It's just a few chords in C minor. The scattering effect needs to be somewhat different from the original synth pad. I'm thinking of the synth pad as sort of like this static music bed, and then I want these sort of scattering elements on top of it. So I need to change the tone or the tuning or the octave in some way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the astral pad, and I'm just going to call this scatter effects one. And there's actually going to be two of these by the time we're done, but let's just start with one. Hold Option, drag down that MIDI region to duplicate it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the Transposer plugin to this, and I'm gonna transpose it up an octave, 12 semitones. So that's just going to, you know, make it go up an octave. So that's a cool effect on its own, but what I wanna do is I want to give this a stuttering effect. I found that scattering effects don't work very well with lush, smooth pads and strings and things like this. It really needs to be something that's more pointed, maybe some, you know, something more percussive. So if you're already starting with an instrument that's already percussive and rhythmic, you probably could skip this part. But uh, I'm going to make this more rhythmic by adding the Tremlo plugin before my reverb plugin. So I'll go down to modulation, Tremlo, load that up in stereo. And then what I'll do with this is I'll load up the mono tremolo preset. I'll turn on the tempo sync here, and I'll set this to like a 16th note. Turn down the smoothing a bit, make sure the depth is at 100%, and I'm just going to get sort of a pulsing 16th note. The reverb is uh, quite heavy, so I think on these scatter effects, I want quite a bit less reverb. There we go. 
The other thing we could do is we can play around with the instrument itself to make it sound a little bit different from the original Astral Pad track. Uh, so here, there's a filter here, filter two, and this is a low pass. So I'm gonna pull that up to bring in some more of the high end, and maybe I'll play with a few other parameters as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the direction mixer in between the tremolo and the reverb. By the way, you don't have to use Valhalla uh, Shimmer. Um, you can use any reverb plugin here, but if you're into electronic music and sound design and, and ambient music, the Valhalla Shimmer plugin is the best reverb out there for creating soundscapes. So I highly recommend it. It's only $50 too. Um, so I'm gonna add the direction mixer. So this is going to be under imaging. And again, I'm adding this in between the tremolo and the reverb. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the split mode on, and this is gonna split the frequency range into two different panners. You can think of the direction mixer as like a panner on an insert rather than uh, using a stereo panner or a balancer down here. It's like putting the pan up here rather than at the end of the channel strip. Um, you can set a crossover frequency. I'll set that around 1K. You know, the intended purpose here is to sort of be able to pan things on the channel and, and split up your high and low frequencies. Like maybe you want the low frequencies more center, but the high frequencies more off to the left. But we're going to take this and we're going to use it as a modulation effect by randomizing the position of both of these knobs. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to add the modulator plugin. And the modulator plugin has this nifty LFO module. And with this, you can actually assign the motion of the LFO to a plugin parameter. Uh, to give myself sort of a head start, though, I'm going to load up this preset called Drifting Modulation, which is a random modulation effect that is tempo synced. I'm actually going to turn off the tempo syncing. And then it's already smoothed, and you can see the motion of the effect is mostly random. So now if I click on 2 here, go to Learn Plugin Parameter, I can click on that direction that direction high parameter. And you can see that now the modulator, the LFO and the modulator is controlling the direction high knob. And again, this isn't just a, a sine wave or a triangle wave LFO, this is a random effect. And you can speed this up if you want it to go faster, pull it down if you want it to go slower. So I think for the high frequencies, I want this to be a bit higher, a bit faster. And then for the low frequencies, I'll make it a bit slower. So how are we going to get the low knob to also move? Well you can actually just load up another modulator. So I'll load up another modulator. And then on this one, I'll choose that same drifting modulation preset. And I'll assign this to direction low. And I'll sort of slow this one down a little bit. So what this is gonna do is it's just going to take this track and just randomly pan it all over the place. And you have to be careful with how much reverb or other uh, time-based effects you have on the channel, because if there's too much reverb, it just blurs the you know what the direction mixer is doing. But too little, and it's a bit harsh sounding. So you have to so you sort of have to blend in your reverb to something that sounds best. Now you can take this even one step further. <laughs> And you can add the arpeggiator to this just to sort of give each of those chords a little bit of motion. Now, if you're not using chords, you're probably not going to use the uh, you're probably not going to use the arpeggiator. But uh, you can sort of you know pull this up an octave, give it some variation, um, choose a different rate than the tremolo if you want. But this is just going to give it a little bit more motion. And then you can blend this in with the original pad. Now that on its own is actually a really cool effect, but we're gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna double this track, I'm gonna duplicate the track, and I'm gonna create two separate scattering effects, one to make it even more random, and two to sort of 
push one track a little over to the left and another to push another track a little over to the right. So I get these really wide stereo scattering effects. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this track. So just duplicate the track there. I'll call this scatter effects two, or you could call it scatter effects left and right. Hold option and duplicate my MIDI region down. Now you could just like pan these left and right, but I find I get a better result when I actually set up the modulation in a stereo way. So I'm gonna pull up the first direction mi mixer. This is gonna be the left one, and the second one's gonna be the right one. Now, when you open up the modulators, so this is the very first modulator that I believe is controlling the direction high. There's this offset here. And when you're using the LFO as a modulation effect for pan, the offset ends up controlling the position or offset, it offsets the pan. So if I pull this up, I won't pull it up quite as much. If I pull this up, you'll see that that direction high parameter favors the right side. If I pull it down a little bit, it's gonna favor the left side a bit. So off screen, what I did was I went into each of the four modulator plugins and I pulled the offset down a bit for the scatter effects one track. So these are favoring the left side more. And then I did the opposite and pulled up the offset for the scatter effects two track, which makes this direction mixer favor the right side. So like I said before, that's a cool effect just as it is, but we can take this even one step further. Maybe on my second ES2 here, the, the second scatter effect, maybe I want a different filter, a different resonance, a different, a different FM setting, maybe a different filter blend. Maybe I want to grab one of these other filters in here too. Um, so you can change the modulation or swap it out for a completely different instrument just to give it even more stereo variation if you like. And also on the second scatter effect, I'm going to change the arpeggiator to an eighth note triplet rather than a 16th note. So now I'm getting two different rhythms on each side. So again, this is gonna give it even more variation. And you can also control the crossover here. Maybe I want the crossover different on one of the channels, just again, for variation. <laughs> And let's hear that again with the drum loops and the effects loops back in. So that's how you can create a scatter modulation effect using the direction mixer and the modulator MIDI effects plugin in Logic Pro, along with uh, you know a handful of other plugins and effects. So you can go crazy with this. There's a ton of things you can do with this. This is just one example of an effect that you can achieve using this technique. Again, if you're interested in learning more about music theory and keyboarding skills in a more formal way with self-paced video lessons, don't forget the sponsor of today's video, Piano. The single most important thing I ever did to improve my songwriting, production, and arrangement skills was not a new piece of gear, not a new computer, not a new plugin. It was learning how to play the piano. I'm actually a guitar player primarily, but the keyboard is my home when I'm writing and producing music. I took four semesters of college-level piano classes over a two-year period, and while I'm happy to have had that experience, it was not self-paced, it was all taught from a book, and frankly, as a rock and pop musician, I wanted to learn more about how to play rock and pop music. I wish I had a site like Piano around back then to work at my own pace and focus on just the topics that I'm interested in. 
So that's the great thing about piano. You can learn the foundations of piano and then pick and choose what intermediate or advanced courses you want to explore. Pick just the songs that you want to learn and apply what you've learned to your own songs, beats, and compositions. Subscriptions start at only 19 bucks a month and you can get a free 30-day trial using the link I've provided below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.